What's up? So we talked about the amplifier that I love. And we and I use the word, I know y'all wondering, what is dampening? What is he talking about ampl amplifying dampening? Because I know what dampen means. You think about to make something wet. Dampening also has another definition. It means to break. To lessen the force of. Okay. Translating to break. Because when you're driving, you lessen the force of the engine is effect upon the drive shire, you're braking. That's what dampening is. And that's what they get electrical turn of dampening because it's the ability to amplify to bring itself back to zero. Music, 30 cycles, 2,000 cycles, 3,000 cycles, all these different frequencies that people love. A cycle is up and back. It's a completion. Cycle. Up and back. You see on the oscilloscope with the waves. You see that line on the oscilloscope? Now, y'all know I don't talk all that well, so bear with me. <laughs> you know, on the oscilloscope, you see that line when you set the uh, your amp, and you see that line in the middle, and then you go to the top, and it goes down, and it comes up like this here. And as long as it stay round on both ends, you have a clean signal. Well, that line in the middle is zero. That line in the middle is zero. So one complete cycle is up, back past zero, and back, equal distance both ways, and come back to zero. Say it again. A cycle is up, back past zero, and down, equal distance on both sides of zero of the start starting point is a cycle. For 33 hertz tone, 35 hertz tone, 40 hertz tone, that is happening that many times a second. A second. A second. 33,000 complete revolutions is happening a second. It's going that forward and back equal amount of time from zero. And that's what you hear perceives as bass. Yes, the higher you go on frequency, the higher your dB can be. DB is not all about bass. Train horn whistle, 185 dB. You hear it for miles. 185 dB. If you just stand right there in front of it when it went off, you'd be deaf. Bass, we are impressed when guys meter very, very low because it's not that much cycles for the compression of air. So you need a lot of subwoofers to do it. But you need to, but that's what. What enables you to get that output is your linear and your ex-mechanical. Your linear is the control of the amplifier. Your linear x mechanical is the control of the amplifier over the subwoofer. And when it stays in the gap, that's just going to be your loudest. That is going to be your loudest the, because the motor is following the instructions of the amplifier. So that is going to be your loud. That's where you're going to meter the loudest. When your resin, when your resin frequency of your vehicle, your subwoofer, and the ability to sub to bring itself back to zero or in alignment, you're going to get that knuckle in the air that the meter is going to read. Now, just like an amplifier knows how to get back to zero, and I tell you about performance levels, the subs need to have a certain performance level and the ability to get back to zero. When they're in X, when they're in X max, linear X max, they're staying within the gap. When they're in X mechanical, which could be two, three times more than linear X max, well, what's bringing it back to zero? Surround, spider. Surround and spider. Those two work in concert to bring the sub back to zero. Because remember, a cycle. Is wherever zero is at, the subwoofer moves up and below an equal distance and back to zero is one complete cycle. Forward and back down and back to zero, a circle basically, same equal distance. It's a cycle. Your mechanical does generate output. If it can keep itself linear, 
So it could be thrown out and you're in the gap. You're being thrown out the gap, which means the motor is no longer in control of how far you go out. Well, what's keeping you in alignment to give you more output? Mechanical. It's no longer controlled by the, the electricity coming from the amplifier to the motor. You're being solely controlled to come back to zero or go forward to zero, resting point, by the surround and the spider. Two very key ingredients on the subwoofer. It's good to have good extra mechanical if, if that mechanical can be controlled. If it's not, you just got a sloppy subwoofer. That's a performance level. That's what you're paying for. Remember, I tell you, there's no perfect subwoofer. You're paying for performance levels. Performance levels. You know what X Max means, linear X Max, and you know what X Mechanical means. And you can pretty much, nah, you can't do that for real. Nah, I'm not going to say that. But you're looking to see a gauge off your opinion and your experience with some of you have used before. Okay, yeah, I kind of believe it can bring itself back to zero. Zero is a very important number. A lot of people think one is an important number. Zero is an important number because one means you keep adding. But it has for one to exist, there has to be a not one. And that's zero. You see how Vanna Black messed that up? Y'all hear that in the video? She messed that up. That means I get to, you know what I'm saying? I get to, yeah, I get to. I ain't going to redo the video. I'm going to talk too damn much. Six hours, six minutes. I'm finna ask for a favor. A favor. <laughs> anyway. So, this particular sub over here has a, I think, 13, 14 millimeters of excursion, 35 millimeters X mechanical. 14 millimeters within the gap, and twice that and more, depending on the, the surround and the cone. Now, what can help the mechanical ability of your subwoofer is your enclosure. Because remember, below tuning, below tuning, you're depending on the subwoofer to control itself below tuning. Above tuning, he helping. He's another mechanical device. He's not powered. He's not powered at all. He's not powered. He's mechanical. This is power. This motor has no force. And I'll make this video later. This motor before has no force. It doesn't worry about the size of the motor. What you're worried about is how much gauss you can get in the gap. How much of that energy can you get in the gap? That's what counts. How much of that energy could you focus to that gap and achieve the other principles that you want, whether it's SPL, SQ. Man, it gets complicated, but it gets pretty simple, too. But I want y'all to understand, that's what this video is about, X-Mechanical. X-Mechanical is what, fellas? The ability of the surround and the spider to bring the cone back to zero. Resting, starting point. Always got to have a starting point. Your amplifier must have a good dampening so it can bring the subwoofer back. And when it says bring it back to this point, can the mechanical, the surround, the spider, bring it back to that point? That's going to give you accuracy and sound that punch, that drop, and why you're not going to need a boatload of power to get that, and you can do things that some us and other people, builders, can do. You don't need a, you don't need a boatload of power to get loud, man. It's efficiency and knowing what to look for in the performance level. Peace! Performance level is so well. Peace! Let me get on this favor. Don't finish that banner. Now, because you done messed up my video, what is you gonna do for me? Demonstrate. Can I see a demonstration of what you gonna do for me for messing up my video? What kind of demonstration would you like? Mm. What kind of demonstration would I like? Can y'all hear that? Oh, I don't know, demonstrate something. Hey, I'm finna go check these voice calls out, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get with y'all later. 
I'm gonna see what these fours calls read. <laughs>